I'm Gemma and this is Nonfic Books and we have a different video today because I am going to the BBC History Weekend and Lil asked if I would try and vlog this so this is for you Lil and hopefully this will not be a complete disaster. We are going into York, me and my mum, to go and see Morgan Ring in the morning and then in the afternoon Helen Caster, Dan Jones and um, Annie Gray. So that should be a really sort of fun Day, and then in the middle we are meeting my husband, dad and little Lynn for lunch at Carluccio's so hopefully it should be good and for those of you who don't know York I will try and get a few clips going around York as well as a bit more about the history weekend it is only 8.30 in the morning and I've already been up for about four hours so I'm now going to drink some coffee and head into the first talk for 10 o'clock so I'll see you then, bye! So it's the next day and the York History Weekend was absolutely fabulous, or well the Saturday was, I assume the rest of it was absolutely brilliant and I was exhausted last night and when we got back, because we got back about 9 o'clock and I'd been up since 4, so I went to bed rather than um, filming this in the dark. So I want to talk a little bit about the talks that I went to yesterday. And the first one in the morning was Morgan Ring's talk on Lady Margaret Douglas. Margaret Ring has very recently finished her PhD and published this book and she was really good. Um, you can tell she's relatively new to this sort of thing but oh my goodness I think she is one to definitely watch. Um, her research was fascinating and it is a book that sadly they'd run out of so I will need to order that but I would definitely like to read that book. If you get the chance to see her or to get hold of her book, I would really recommend it because she was so engaging. And Margaret Douglas, who was the niece of Henry VIII, was an absolutely fascinating character. Um, As Weir has also done a um, biography of her relatively recently. So what I think I will do is get a copy of both books. Oh, well, I have the Alice and um, Weir one. Get a copy of Morgan Ring's book, review and read both of them concurrently and review them both together. So hopefully I will do that in the new year. We then had an absolutely disastrous, well, we attempted to have lunch, which it went all disastrously wrong. Um, and we waited for an hour and a half and still hadn't got our main courses. So we had to disappear off um, and leave my dad and husband and little Lynn and head to see Helen Caster at two o'clock because she I was so excited to see. 
you may know Helen Caster is a complete sort of addiction of mine. I am a complete fangirl and she was talking about She-Wolves, which I think is pretty much my favourite history book that I have ever read. Um, that's a big, big thing to say, but I think it is. And she was the amazing historical goddess that she just always is. I am completely in love with her. I want to be her histor uh, as a historian. I think she is amazing. She manages to get that really great balance of getting loads of information into a talk, but making it entertaining, relevant to today, and not going above over people's heads while still getting loads of information in there. And she was is looking at the women who this book is on the women who ruled England before Elizabeth. She was talking more generally about the concept of she-wolves and about women who had power and the problems that people had with women who had power and how that is quite relevant to today as well. If you haven't read this book, I can't say it enough. Go and read it, get copies of it. Please, 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 please read this book. Um, then the next one was a talk by Dan Jones, who is quite a sort of historical history superstar and he was talking on his book The Templars. This was a slightly disappointing talk, not that it wasn't good because it was a fun talk, but considering it was a BBC History Weekend um, and so most people going to it would be quite into history, his talk was very very history light and it was a lot more about sort of him and um, the yeah it, it was more of a personality thing I I wished he had got more into the details about the Templars rather than giving such a very brief overview in them because it must have been about 15 minutes into a 45 minute talk before he actually started talking about the Templars so um, I look forward to reading this I've very casually read um, his Plantagenets or sort of dipped in and out of that but um, I find the Templars very interesting and I don't know very much about Crusader history so I'm looking forward to picking up his book but I'm not 100% sure I would go and see him talk again. Um, I love listening to him on the podcast and stuff like that but it was just very light on the actual history. And then finally in the evening at about half past seven went to the final talk of the day by Annie Gray and she has recently published this book The Greedy Queen um, Eating with Victoria and it is all about the food of the Victorian period uh, focusing on the food that Victoria herself ate because there are some fantastic records both of the um, sort of palace uh, in the palace archives about the, the food that was produced for the whole course and she kept quite close records of what she ate in her diaries because during her lifetime she went from having an absolutely a minuscule um, 21 inch waist or something like that up to a ginormous 54 inch waist which when you're five foot one means that you are basically spherical um and the clo you look at she showed an image of one of the clothes that she wore very early on in her life and then one at the end of her life and it is just hilarious and her talk was amazing annie gray is definitely one to watch you may well have seen her pop up on programs because she is a food historian and i've certainly seen her on the tv doing stuff about world war food and recooking um uh, russian food and i finally found out why i recognize her it's because she was at university at the same time i was she was just a few years above me in the york archaeology department so that is why i recognize her which has been annoying me because I, I see her pop up on the TV every now and again. But she was a fantastic speaker. She is funny, she is irreverent, she is so passionate about her subject and about food in general, and she was an absolute joy to watch. Both her and Helen Caster's talks flew by. They could both have happily talked for another hour or two, and I don't think I would have even noticed it had gone over an hour. They were just both so interesting, very different styles. Annie Gray is a bit more casual and a bit more sort of fun, whereas Helen Caster is a little bit more sort of traditional but incredible. And I really recommend if you, any of the women that I saw yesterday, Morgan Ring, Helen Caster or Annie Gray, I really, really recommend checking out. And I cannot wait 
to get into this book. I actually ended up buying three copies yesterday. I bought one for my mum, I bought one for my nan, um, which I had signed to her and I'm sending back down with my mum, so hopefully my nan will enjoy this, and then one for myself because I am really looking forward to getting tuck into that. So the York History Weekend was an absolute success. It's the third year it was been, it has been in York and it's the third year that I went to it and it was absolutely fabulous as always. Um, they do a history weekend in Winchester as well as in York and the tickets normally go on sale in sort of the earlier point of the year and I really really recommend going next year if you can get to either one of them because the calibre of the talks have been fantastic and I love this new trend for more um, history festivals all over the place because I know Gloucester does one and it's definitely becoming much more of a thing so if you can get to them, if you can see any of these authors talk please do because they were absolutely fabulous and I will hopefully see you in a video soon. Bye!